These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whatsoever he goeth. Read that again. It says these are, these are these are these are they which were not defiled with women. These are they which were not defiled with the woman. The woman represents the different doctrines, okay? Which doctrine means the falsified, okay? Meaning uh, di of di different false uh, religions, okay? Because the word religion means to be uh, to be joined, okay? To, to be bound, okay? To be bound to something, okay? We we're, we're in a religion. We're bound to Yahweh Bashim Al Bashai, all right? The religion, the religion that the other uh, nations and two thirds of Israel are bound to, they're bound to uh, Satan. They're, they're bound to uh, Church of the Borgia. Okay. Go ahead. It says, it says for they are virgins. For, they, for they are virgins, meaning they're unspot, we're unspotted. Okay, we're clean. We're, our sins have been uh, washed by the blood of Yahweh Shai. What? It says, these are they which follow the Lamb, whichsoever He goeth. These, yeah, were, these are they that follow, follow the land, meaning we will constantly, whatever the Lord tells us to do, we're going to do. Okay, the Lord tells us to come out on the highways, which is the streets, okay, the sidewalk right here where we teach at, and props out about the destruction of uh, raising up the tribes of Israel, telling them who they are according to the Bible, we're going to do it. If the, if the Lord uh, prophesied for us not to take the RFD microchip, we're not going to do it. We're not going to take the RFD microchip, okay? We're going to stand fast. The Lord's will. Like it what? says, you know, when the, Lord, when the Lord tells us not to, not to come out in this highway and byways anymore, man, we're going to stop. We're going to cease from coming out, man. Yeah. And that's when you're no longer going to be able to find the truth. Well, that's why the scriptures say, "Seek ye the Lord while he may be found." Yeah. It's all, it's all in, 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 your, in your, uh, your heart, which is your mind. Okay, the Lord knows your heart. Well, there's going to come a time when the Lord's going to shut the door. Right? It, it, there ain't going to be grace forever. Right? Right before the destruction, the Lord's going to shut that grace grace period, man. Doors of mercy are closing. Right. It says, it says, and in their mouth was found. Oh wait. It says, yeah. it says, these are they which followed the land which where he go. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. These were redeemed from among men. Okay. And the first fruits belong to how we how we Alright. It says, and in their mouth was found no gold. Which I mean, which I believe means deceit. Okay, go ahead. It says, for they, for they are without fault before the throne of the most high. Yeah, so we're so we're perfect in our eyes of Because we're filled with his Holy Spirit. Right. It says, and I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. Having everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. Yeah, it don't mean that an actual angel came, came, come, come, comes down and start teaching classes, you know. It means that, that, that that's referring to the Lord putting the Spirit in us to teach. All right, read that again. It says, "And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred." In tongue, in people, in people. It, sa again? it says, and I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every and to every nation. Yeah, meaning that the Lord, the Lord gave gave us the Holy Spirit to prophesy. It says, and to every nation and kindred. Every nation and kindred. In tongue. In tongue. That's all referring to the Israelites. Okay, if you look those words up, it's, it's referring to the Israelites, all right? And I believe we look up the word kindred, it, it's telling you that it's the, the 12, it's telling you that it's the 12 tribes. All right, look that up. The word kindred. 14, what verse you want? Uh, four, 14 and 6. 6. What? Continue reading. It says, in people. In people. Okay? So that's all, that's all referring to the Israelites. All right? The, 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 the elected Israel. It says, saying with a loud voice, fear the Most High and give glory to Him. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're saying. Fear, fear your house, watch me, I shot, and give glory to Him. All right? Say, say His name, okay? Preaching His name. Okay, when you preach, when, when you preach or say or do something in, in, in the name of something, like if, uh, if somebody, an uh, 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 FBI agent comes to your house, okay, he flashes the badge, his badge and tell you, Tell you, tells you he's with the FBI, he's coming in the name of the FBI, okay? 
you know, he does, they, they don't hide the fact unless they're undercover if they're with the FBI. All right? So we so so we're with uh, we're preaching in the name of the how about Shimmy I was shot. Okay, so we so we're gonna tell you the, 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 the men or the people, the person names who were preaching it. Alright? Which is your how or your how was shot. But, um, but, yeah. This is a word for kindred. Uh, this is a tribe. It says in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch Jacob. So very specifically, kindred is one of the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. One of these, one of the sons, of, or, or all, of them, rather. It says, it says all the persons descending from one of, the, you know. So. Um, they said, uh, said nations. Nation. Also, the word there in the Hebrew would be uh, the nation. I got, I got a precept. It's, uh, this is Isaiah. This is Isaiah 25 and 7. He will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people in the veil that is spread all over all nations. I mean, the, he, the Lord said that there's nothing here that should not be made manifest, okay? Go up. It says... He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord power will wipe away tears from from off all faces. Yes, the how is the how is going? The way the how is going to swallow up death is meaning he's going he's going to make us uh, make us immortal. We're going, to, we're going to live a thousand years, a full age. We're not going to die from any sickness. Thirty-four. Oh, Thirty-four. Oh, Thirty-four. Back. Give me oh, a second. Highlight it. Go ahead. It says, and the Lord power will wipe away tears from off all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall take away from all from off all the earth, for the Lord has spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our power, we have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Yeah, that's just the, the, the Israelites are giving paying homage uh, to Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Give the thanks to Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Now go back to uh, what you said, all oh, nations, tongues, and all that. It Re says, yeah, read it again. Read it again. Revelation 4, 14, 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the Holy Spirit, okay? Uh, uh, put in, into the elect, all right? There's no angel. The angel's going to come down and start teaching classes, all right? You got Ephesians. Go up. It says, uh, "Yeah, yeah." And I saw another angel find the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. In every nation. Now, in the Hebrew or in the Greek, it will be a uh, what's the Greek word? Get the Greek. Get the Greek word. What's the Greek word for, for nations, Gentiles? Um, Shlaki, I, 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 ethnos, yeah. ethnos, 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 Shlaki, ethnos. And the Hebrew equivalent will be uh, uh, Goya, or Goya. All right. So, go ahead, get the. Uh, the All right, this is uh, out the uh, English Ben Hoodie's English Hebrew Hebrew English Dictionary. All right, pocket size. And uh, if you look on here, page thirty-five for the uh, nation Gentile. And um, right there, it's uh, Goyim. It says non-religious Jew. Non-religious Jew. Okay. Yeah. Tip up the screen. Focus it. In. Right up there at the top there. It says a non-religious non Jew, meaning that when it, when the scriptures uh, when the when the scriptures when the scriptures define or, or you see the word when it pertains to salvation, it says you see Gentile. Or, 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 or the nations that can be saved, okay? It's referring to Israelite foreigners, okay? That, 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 weren't, uh, that weren't bound to the commandments of the Lord. But the word religion means to bind, to tie, okay? They were bound to the, to the, uh, to the other nations. They weren't, they weren't bound to Yahweh by Shem okay? So that was the point on that. Uh, sorry, you got I was, I was going yeah, to bring something out real quick. Uh, just with the word, uh, uh, Run 
or so no first book is 12 and yeah this is our first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 it says now concerning spiritual gifts brethren would not have you ignorant verse 2 you know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols even as you were led that's, that's the point the, 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 the Gentiles are the Israelite foreigners all right this is Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might what Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world. So we wrestle not against flesh and blood, meaning that the, the, the things that we go through throughout our daily lives are because of spirits. Okay, spirits are controlling everything. You got ones on the left hand side, you got ones on the right hand side. What? But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. Yeah, the whole armor of the Most High is the whole Bible, from Genesis to Revelations. Right. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yeah, meaning that the, how are we going to uh, escape, okay, escape the uh, temptations, okay, escape the uh, so-called white man uh, chiffiness, okay, it's, it's through the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right. Said that you, that you may be able to stand in that evil day. The main evil day is referring to Jacob's trouble. All right. Go ahead. And having done all to stand, Go ahead. stand therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Anybody got anything else? This is going into uh, when the Lord comes back. We read that in uh, Revelation. This is uh, uh, Second Ezra. Uh, chapter 15 verse 1 Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth saith the Lord and cause them to be written in paper Y'all yeah, like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be written in paper Yeah, it made it write, write the prophecies down in the book in the scroll, but It says, for they are fulfilled in truth Fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incruelty Incruel, incruel, incredulity, incredulity, which means unbelief, what? of them trouble thee what? that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. Yeah, well, you're going to see that a lot when it gets warm. Okay, the unbelief, the unbelievers, you know, you're going to see that. When it gets warm, you're going to see a lot of that. They're not out here now because it's cold, but when it gets warm, you know, they're going to be uh, yelling, uh, doing all types of shit. They don't want to fight, you know? Calling for backup, niggas gonna be on the, on the cell phone and shit. Like, Call the niggas to, to come down, you know. Oh my nigga. He says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. The wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, touching their wickedness, which they which they profane commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of, of the just complain continually. This is uh, uh, it says, it's 15, for the sword and their destruction drive draw of nine, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be no sedition, sed, sed, sedition among men and evade one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand their power. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be uh, civil civil unrest, okay? There's going to be a lot of uh, different uh, factions, different powers fighting each other in America. There's going to be civil wars, be race wars, be class wars, be wars for food, okay? For shelter. This is Isaiah chapter 35 verse 4. Say to them, say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. Yeah, and that's what you got. That's in this truth. You got to have confidence, okay? You have to have confidence. What? Come here. Even the most high with the recompense in your house, watching you know, in the word, that you understand the word, okay? And that you can, uh, your origins, the, the projecting out your mouth. But he will come and save you. 
Then the eyes of the blind shall be open, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. That's it. Yeah, so basically, the elect are going to wake up. All right, so with that, all praise to you, how about you, All praise to you, how about 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 you,